just in, in closing, um, I'm recognising that we probably don't have an unlimited amount of time here. Steve, do we have a time we have to be out here? Um, I think you might be reaching the end of your tether anyway, so I'm going to ask any question. In fact, uh, why don't you just close the sequence now? Is that right? Well, I was just going to make one last point if I could, and that's um, the amount, there's sort of information which um, you probably can't read up there now. Um, books of interest, DVDs of interest, and uh, websites of interest. Uh, of the various books which I've got here, uh, we have, um, let's see, this is Jeff Clark's book called Humbug. It's uh, The Skeptic's Field Guide to Spotting Fallacies in Thinking. Uh, it's available through the Australian Skeptics and I heartily uh, endorse it. It's a great, uh, great book for reading. <coughs> this book is called Full Moon. Um, it's only available in about uh, uh, half size these days. Basically, a photographer in the late 1990s took Apollo photographs and subjected them to the best computer enhancement Whoops. Uh, treatment that was available in, at the time and used it to uh, really take some Apollo photos that people don't really necessarily know very well and um, basically show them at their absolute best. And I'm trying to find a good one, but uh, they're all a little bit. You really need to have the book, but I can hardly recommend books that show this sort of detail in the photographs that people probably haven't seen before. The uh, third book is called A Man on the Moon by Andrew Chagan. Uh, it's basically the definitive narrative history of Apollo. It covers every mission in quite a lot of detail. Um, and uh, you learn a lot about the personality of the astronauts and how those personalities affected or gave colour to individual missions. And also the consequence of, of Apollo, both for NASA and uh, uh, the Amer American society. Um, these two books are both available in most good bookshops, as far as I know. Um, certainly I've seen them both in borders lately. The DVDs, uh, NASA 25 years, this is a fairly cheap one that I picked up one of these big DVD sales. You get five DVDs with basically publicity uh, <coughs> films created by, or created for NASA by a local company in Houston. You get all sorts of insights you get into missions that you might not necessarily have seen before. Um, an Australian produced one called The Moonwalks, the scene of the Honeysuckle Creek tracking station. This is a private production from a guy in Sydney called uh, Colin McKellen. He's a, a bit of a space nut as well, and he's been in contact with uh, staff who used to work at Honeysuckle Creek Tracking Station just outside Canberra, which was one of NASA's three uh, space stations that kept track of uh, Apollo. Um, he's put together some, uh, some quite impressive TV footage for, that um, staff at the station recorded uh, using their own equipment. Uh, from the Earth to the Moon, a miniseries from about 10 years ago, created by Tom Hanks, um, another space nut. Um, tells the story of the various Apollo missions using a different angle each time, whether it's um, uh, the, view, the story of the astronauts' wives or the story of the engineers developing the lunar module or whatever. Some of the stories are absolutely excellent, a couple of them are a little bit near, but overall I heartily recommend it. And of course, um, the other classic is um, uh, Ron Howe's Apollo 13, which I heartily recommend, is uh, now available as a special edition DVD. For websites, um, Moonbase Clavius, which is uh, the best, probably the best moon host debunking website around, www.clavius.org. Uh, I heartily recommend it, if only because I appear on it as, uh, as a researcher. Um, Mount Astronomy, this is Phil Plate's uh, website. It's, uh, it's got a lot of information which covers all sorts of misconceptions about, uh, about astronomy. And the last one there is the Apollo Lunar Surface Journal. This is just an absolutely amazing uh, resource for people who like um, uh, anything about to do with Apollo. Um, it contains transcripts of the conversations between Apollo astronauts and mission control for all of the walks from Apollo 11 to Apollo 17, and it includes commentaries by the astronauts themselves. The site also uh, contains high resolution scans of many photos taken on the missions, as well as an extensive range of video clips. Anything you really want to know about the Apollo missions is on the Apollo Lunar Surface Journal, so I might hardly recommend that to you. So that's all I've got to say. Thank you again.
And we hope there's plenty of you are interested in joining up or at least uh, coming to some more of our presentations. Speaking of which, our next monthly meeting will be on the 14th, uncharacteristically on the 14th, not the 13th of next month. Um, Jeremy Shermer, as you can see there, reader in philosophy at the ANU, one of the world's, probably one of the world's great philosophy departments, I'm told. Um, is Australia a rational society <coughs> or why we need a house of laws? So it's going to be, as I said before, interpreted in about 75 different ways. Let's see what he comes up with. And indeed, some of us are now going to be moving off. We might have a few spaces still left to the Zenia, one in London circuit, not to be confused with the satellite in um, Northbourne Avenue. But that's about it. So thank you again for coming along. And thanks also to the National Museum. Thank you. Thank you.